The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I will be home for a couple of days. Hi, welcome to the Christmas 2019 Holiday House Tour. We love making this video every single year and sharing with you our house and our Christmas decorations. So click the thumbs up if you like seeing Christmas house tours on my channel. My name is Brianna. You might know me as Bits of Free, but I make mommy videos and cleaning and decorating lifestyle videos on my channel as well. And we should go upstairs. Let's do a top to bottom house tour. So follow me up here. Some kind of love, my friend. I'll take you into our master bedroom you like first. To be here too? So every year I put a duvet cover over our comforter and I love this red Buffalo Tech one that I got at Pottery Barn and just kind of throw in some really white fluffy throws and pillows and I love this ho ho pillow that I got at Pottery Barn as well and string a little garland over our headboard and some stockings and just little trees so nothing too crazy but I feel like it makes a really big impact when you have a comforter on your bed and up here <laughs> this is my little girl Presley but up here I've got some Christmas photos it's just such an inexpensive way if you're looking to decorate is get some picture frames put in some old Christmas photos <laughs> <laughs> Star of the show. we're not taking a picture right now sweetie but that was very nice <laughs> But it's just a really inexpensive way that you can decorate a space like your bedroom um, without spending too much money. And also everything here, this tray, these candles, the pine cones, the string of lights are all Dollar Tree finds. So just another inexpensive way to decorate a table or a dresser. Um, and then <laughs> you can see all my clothes in the drawer. Thank you for showing that. Um, this is my Harry Potter tree. So me and the kids are huge Harry Potter fans. My husband is not, but <laughs> <laughs> normally this is in our dining room, but I moved it up here because we just hosted Thanksgiving and I actually really like it in our bedroom because I can sit in bed and when I'm working on something at night, I see my Harry Potter train and it makes me really, really happy. So it might end up living up here at least momentarily and I just have a couple of gifts that I already wrapped too, but hey, okay, you want to go show them your room? Here, come on, come show me your room. Before I show you the kids' bedrooms, I'm so excited because I'm collabing with Micah Stauffer and Amy Darley on this Christmas house tour video. Here's a sneak peek into their beautiful homes. I love them both to death and so will you. They are incredible moms. Their homes are freaking gorgeous. And if you're nosy like me, I'm sure you'll love getting a peek inside of their houses because I cannot wait to see all of their Christmas decor for 2019. I'll have a little bit more about Micah and Amy in my description box. So please, when you're done watching my Christmas house tour use the links in the description to watch both of their house tours and please tell them that I sent you and if Amy or Micah sent you here welcome to my home please subscribe and let me know where you're watching from in the comments today she's excited to show up for bedroom but we actually need to get her a big girl bed because just this morning her brother pulled her out of her bed you can see the video on my Instagram so a big girl bed is going to be in this room soon and I'm going to do a little room makeover. But for now, I just hung a string of twinkle lights and these little gold glitter snow fit flakes I found in the Target dollar spot. So again, another really great hack if you're trying to look to decorate in a really budget friendly way. And then I got these gold and rose gold nut crackers and swans. She loves her dance classes, so I just wanted to make it very magical and stay on the nutcracker ballet theme in her room since she loves her dance classes so much. So I strung some garland up here above her closet. And this little champagne gold tree I got on Amazon last Christmas. And I feel like it just makes it very pretty and girly and glam in here. I always joke I would probably do the whole house like this, but I don't think Adam would like it very much. <laughs> yeah. you know Not quite my style. <laughs> uh, but okay, we can go into Landon's room. I'm ready to go into Daddy's 
same here as Landon's room. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> um, this is my son Landon's room. He is four years old, and ever since he was in my belly, he loved Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Whenever I would play that song, he would kick and like punch me in there like crazy. So I saw they had Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer sheets at Pottery Barn. I think it was last year, and got this little red gingham check duvet for on his bed and this really sweet little North Pole pillow. And I just love how his name's on everything because he loves it too and he spells his name every time he sees it. And we were actually sent this really cool Twas the Night Before Christmas print from a subscriber. So thank you so much for sending that to us. I love it. I feel like it goes perfect in here. And it just means so much to us because that was the story every Christmas Eve. My dad would read that to me and my sister when we were little girls. and. It's just kind of special to have something that like reminds me of him every time I see it too. So Landon's room's got the Rudolph North Pole Christmas theme going on. I try to tie in blue as much as possible too since it is a boy's room and blue is his favorite color. So these are all signs I found at Michael's that look like street signs because normally his room is cars themed. He loves Hot Wheels, race cars, the movie cars. So I thought that those all tied in really perfectly with his love for and then this is our master bathroom. So we have shower stall and little like toilet room off of the shower over there. Our vanities, double sinks are over here. And my favorite place in this whole house is this jacuzzi tub with my TV over it. First I thought that the previous owners were crazy, but once I tried it, I, I think it's like a must have in every house that we live in <laughs> moving forward. So nice. Best place to relax in the whole house. All right, this is our kids' bathroom, and I try not to go too crazy, but I sort of pick some things that add big pops of color to make an impact. So the towels, I got bright red towels for in here, just added a wooden sign and strung a garland right there, and I have a tree I got at Hobby Lobby just to sort of add some decoration and of course I've got my Bath and Body Works holiday soaps. If you're new I'm obsessed with Bath and Body Works stuff. I usually do a haul every season so you'll, you're, you're sure to see lots of Bath and Body Works stuff every season around my house. Um, same thing I have some other bath towels and hand towels here. I just love this sort of Nordic pattern. I think it's really really cute and another big pop uh, the shower curtain with the little red car with the Christmas tree on top. It's big bold things that sort of make a statement, but not anything super crazy or over the top. Oh my gosh, yes, the toilet yeah, paper. Yeah, it's almost gone. At least it's <laughs> wrong because they love it so much, but I did in the Target dollar spot find Christmas toilet paper. Literally. So. <laughs> That's probably, that's what's a little over the top. I was gonna say, yeah, nothing over the top, just, <laughs> just Christmas toilet themed paper. toilet paper. <laughs> All right, There's let's go downstairs. I remember from the time when I was young. Okay, so this is our family room. Honestly, we spend more time in this space than we do any other room in the house. So I really like decorating this space. The tree. I will just say, I'm really sad this year. If you haven't been following, my husband had surgery and he just wasn't able to go get our live tree like we normally go get. And we got an artificial one this year. It was much cleaner to put up for sure, but I really miss having my real tree. So this will be the one year we don't have a real tree. I feel like every year in your family, you have like something funny that goes on. And down here, we love this huge sectional because we spend so much time in this room whether it's hanging out or watching TV or the kids playing. So I love having a ton of chunky blankets and throw pillows just all over this sectional. And I found this huge white chunky one on Amazon. I will warn you, it sheds a little bit, but it's super, super cozy. And I know that plaid throw blanket right there, it's currently on sale at Target for like $10 and it's the coziest and I think it's just so pretty. So such a find. And these oversized Sherpa chairs, I got them at Pottery Barn Kids for Landon and Presley. And I love because you can take the cover off and throw it in the wash if they do get dirty. I don't want them eat in this room though. I know that's my little rule. Actually, we can eat popcorn, but we can't eat anything else besides 
like popcorn or crackers in this room, like nothing that stains, like no fruit or anything like that. And then on these shelves, these are new this year. I got those little light up trees and the sign from Target and I just thought it looked really fun and sort of fresh and Christmassy. And every year I get asked where I got our stockings from and these are actually all homemade. So I bought the red stockings from Hobby Lobby and then at Walmart every year in their gift wrap section they have these glitter monogram letters for 99 cents. They're such a steal and I just hot glue them onto the stockings. So that's how I get those stockings uh, or how I made them. And then on the top of the mantle here, I just love having this light up garland. I think I found that one at Home Depot, but it's just fun, I feel like, to decorate this space in here. And a new addition to our home this year is Michael Buble. Oh, I'm just kidding, it's this entertainment center. I just feel like it really helps complete this room and sort of ties everything together and makes it look more finished. Before this, we just had a white TV stand, and I like how it kind of frames out the TV. and. I could decorate it a little bit this year too. So I mainly got either dollar spot stuff or just very inexpensive decor from Target and decorated. And then these little houses up here were ones that my dad and my mom would give me every Christmas when I was a little girl. So I have them up there on that higher shelf. And these little hats, I did get these made for Amanda and Presley this year because they love wearing Santa hats. I don't know why. Um, but I got those with their names on them. Into the kitchen. This is the spot where I probably spend the majority of my time. I feel like our family's in the family room. I'm always in the kitchen. I'm usually sitting here like working on my laptop, editing, doing stuff in here. And I love these black and white buffalo plaid placemats. Those were another Amazon find, but I feel like they just kind of help pop. I use them for Halloween too, or like fall decor. So versatile for many seasons. And if you haven't seen a house tour video in a while, we did change the countertops and the backsplash in our kitchen this spring. So relatively new, it was my first year decorating for Christmas. It's sort of the all white backdrop, and I really love it. I'm so happy that we did this. And I just found some little wreaths. These little flowers were in the Target dollar spot, or I should say succulents, I guess. Um, and I just love them up there when I'm washing my dishes at the sink. And then I just have some towels over here. I try to keep it as simple as possible. I feel like I like cleaner and simpler, but still different pops of color for each season. And this year I had just so much fun putting together this hot chocolate bar themed three tiered stand. So this is new, I'd never done it before. And I used some mini marshmallows and I just got some different cups. I got the Ray Dunn Naughty and Nice and some buffalo plaid ones and added some pom poms in with the greenery. And I feel like it just made this three tiered stand look really, really fun this year. You have to let me know if you like it in the comments. And I found, this was only 10 bucks at Target, and Landon is so excited to count down for Christmas. So every day we move the star and see how many more days that we have until Christmas. This space is our kids' dining room or kids' craft room because we have the little Carolina table from Pottery Barn. And they come in here and they do their watercolors or color with crayons. And I always hang any of their artwork that they make up here on this wall. So just to kind of make it fun for Christmas this year, I just hung some pom-poms and they love these like fun things if you press this. We'll get a little bit of music that it spins. They are obsessed They're with that. Obsessed with they just it. press it over and over and over and over again. Um, and I found some of these fun balloons on Amazon that say Merry Christmas right here. So I just keep it like very like, light and bright and fun for them. And this is our formal dining room and I have the tablescape all set up for Christmas brunch, which I host that every Christmas morning at our house. And I found some really pretty new placemats at Target this year. I found some gold chargers and some gold coffee mugs actually in the Target dollar spot. So I will, when it gets closer to it, set out the gold utensils and the actual plates, but I already did like the napkins and just sort of added some candles and these little bristle brush trees and different heights, so it kind of adds some dimension and different heights of the candles too. So there's pops of red 
and just try to make it really pretty and festive in here for our Christmas morning brunch. And it's funny because the kids already are like, can we just eat dinner in here tonight? Because they love it so much. And then on the buffet here, I did go to Hallmark earlier this season to pick up some ornaments because that was always my dad's presents to us and the kids is he liked to get us an ornament if there was something special going on that year. And I happen to see they have all of these animated Harry Potter, like they're, these are, you could hang them on your tree, they're ornaments, but they tell the stories of different scenes of the movie and the castle. If I press one, it just starts going kind of nonstop. But I also found this really cute fresh baked cookies and milk for Santa, milk cup and cookie plate at Hallmark too. And I just thought that was really cute. So I picked those up. Before we go to the office, I should share, this is like my little cleaning supply area. So I've got my Robo Rock, my Dyson, and my Bissell Steam Mop, all, all my ducks in a row here for cleaning. Did I really even show the foyer when we started? No, not really. Maybe I should just show you the foyer very quickly. So I have all the garland strung up the stairs in here as well. And my foyer table. I have a garland and these are the what are these? Tis the season bath and body works candles. So it does smell very Christmassy and homey the second you walk in the door. And then I just have some red lanterns and that tin is filled with Dollar Tree ornaments and lights. So something simple, an idea to decorate on a budget as well. And the mistletoe behind you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> mistletoe there for when Addie gets home from work. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is my office. So I will say it feels more like a warehouse these days than a true office. It's like a little hard for me to work in here because I do, it's very cluttered with a lot of my Etsy business merch, um, which is all gonna be getting shipped out this week. I'm so excited. So if you've ordered something, it's coming soon. I still have some cups available actually if you would like to get a stocking stuffer or a gift for another lady or someone in your life. But I just put a couple of things up in here. I got this little rose gold deer at Big Lots last year. I love it. I feel like just so glam and pretty. Again, I would have my whole house like in these tones, but I know Adam appreciates the red and green a little bit more. <laughs> so with my office, I can do it in Presley's room. I have a little pink tree. This tis the, or yeah, tis the season to sparkle. I think I got that at the Target dollar spot. Oh gosh, last Christmas. <laughs> um, and then I just made a little silver tree in here. I believe I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I just found some different wine and champagne ornaments for it. So it's my little bubbly tree. I need to find an apothic ornament. <laughs> and we also have in our little foyer area here, I decorated this bench with some pillows and I just hung up some pom-poms and a little snowflake garland there to kind of tie into all the other decor. Okay, and then I'll show you our potter real quickly. There's not any crazy sort of decorations in here, but I do just have a little tree. Um, I have this Mrs. Meyer Snowdrop soap. It smells so good. I've only been able to find it at Target, but it smells amazing for the season. And of course, I've got my little Bath and Body Works wallflower over there too. And I'll take you down the basement. I feel like everybody always wants to see. I've got my steam cleaner right when you walk down the stairs. Uh, this is the kids' play area, lounge area. If we stay in this house, which is currently up for debate, I'm sure that they would love this as teenagers to kind of come down and have their own little hangout space. Um, but for now, it's a big toy zone. It's my workout zone so that if they're awake, because most mornings I wake up before them, but if there's days where I sleep in or can't do my workout first thing in the morning, I love being able to work out while they play. So I keep an eye on them and still get my workout in. Multitasking, mom life. And this is my husband's favorite room in our house. Definitely, by far. This is our movie room, home theater room. Popcorn machine. Popcorn machine, we got some leather. You should swing around so you can see the leather, leather chairs. We got a leather couch, and I guess you'd say a leather love seat, but they're all the reclining chairs. Here. And we put in the riser so that you can get the theater style multiple rows. So you can just kick back, watch your Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I love that we put in the riser. 
I have like never actually sat up there because oh, this, is, this seat is the best seat in the house. No, this is and usually one of the kids grabs it. I like front row, so uh, this is this is my seat every single time. That's There's uh, not me. not up for debate. So because <laughs> I just bang into the wall. <laughs> the camera's shaking. Oh, I'll just show the bathroom in here quickly. I guess um, we do have a bathroom. We do have a bathroom downstairs here. That's actually a full bath too, which I feel like will be nice for the kids since they get a little bit older if one of them wants to come down here and use that one. Or if you're doing your hair and don't want it uh, <laughs> humid in the bathroom, <laughs> and yeah, I go shower down here. Adam will be such a gentleman and he'll come and shower down here so that my hair doesn't get messed up in our master bathroom. Aren't I the best? <laughs> you are the best. This is the bar area, my husband's I guess man cave, we always call it. And I haven't decorated it for Christmas this year, but sometimes those string lights on it didn't just like this year though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. Sorry. But thank you so much for watching this Christmas 2019 holiday house tour. Don't forget to go check out Micah Stoffer and Amy Darley, because both of their homes are going to be so gorgeous. They are our house gold decor gold. I'm sure you'll love getting to see all of their Christmas decor and around their homes as well. And again, if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and join our family for Christmas and 2020 here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Bye, love. Just wanna have a holiday, yeah, yeah. Let's have a jolly holiday.